Another Heartless Summoning. We can just make a deck at this point. Yeah. We should make a Heartless Summoning deck. Boy, is this pack bad for me. This pack is awful for you. <laughs> Scourge of Garage? I really feel like this is the best card for me in this pack. I mean, how was he for you? He wasn't horrible. Is is it worth having a second one-eyed scarecrow to just like totally shut down flyers? I don't think so. Okay. Then take the scourge of Gear Reach. Yeah. He's a giant wall unless you're in good shape. <laughs> see, do we want a cultist or cultist? We want cultist, not a cultist. Yeah. We want a cultist, not an occultist. We want a cultist? Ho ho! No, like seriously. No, Skirzdag cultist, okay. the red one, who flings your guys for yeah. benefits. Yeah, this is the kind of deck that can just stabilize with this and have it be a threat. Yeah, so. throw all of your dumpy guys and pitchburn devils. There's another splinter fright. Jeez. We could have had a crazy deck. Yeah. Do you want to just take him and splash? I mean, you have a lot of creatures. He mills you. I mean, armor scab is like probably the better. My guys are big enough. I don't think I really need it. But I mean, it's very tempting. I do have a nod to the bone. Um, armored scab is just really good. So yeah. Yeah, you might as well just stay on target. Yeah, I think this is just a little. I don't think his payoff is worth it. Yeah. And this is just solid. So. Think twice. Good. You need more of those. I do. But yeah, I definitely could have been green, yeah. just overall. Or, ru actually, Rune Chanter's Pike. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, you really need Think Twice, though. This might table to me, do you think it the would? The Rune Chanter's Pike? This pack is kind of weak, maybe not. Well, no. eh, I mean, there's a dead weight and a Hamlet Captain. There's not, like, five other good cards, though. Yeah. I think you just need to Think Twice. I only have one Burning Vengeance, however, the Think Twice does dig me to it. I mean, we ha I haven't played with Rune Chandra's Pike before. It's been a little scary. I've played against it. It's probably not necessary, though. I think I'm just gonna take the Think Twice and hope that, you know... There's a Geist Flame. Yeah. That's great, and yeah. precisely what you need, and yep. maybe you'll table the Moon Heron somehow. There's two um, of them. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe <welp>. that. <laughs> That's really fortunate. I would take this shimmering, shimmering grotto otherwise. Yeah. It's a pretty cool grotto. Yeah, but, like, this is really good for me. It's bugging me out, man. I only have one forbidden alchemy so far, so... Yeah. Um, this other thing is not super exciting. Runic repetition yeah, is, Yeah, that's though. just the pick. Spectral Rider is just good. I'm just, just taking just this. Just take it. Just Screw it. everybody else. Or should I just take the Spidery Grasp? Because I, mean, I don't really care about this guy, right? Alright. I mean, yeah, I Spidery Grasp. Spidery right. Grasp you could feasibly splash for in some horrible... Oh, whatever. I'm just going to take the Spectral Rider. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to play any of these. It's just... Yeah. What do I not want to play against? Um, You should probably take that 2-1 mm. Flyer. Why? Because Heartless Summoning is garbage. But I have two Geist Flames. I'm just gonna take Heartless Summoning. Alright. Because I just don't care. I want that fraction of a ticket. <laughs> okay. You're hedging your bets. In the... uh. I guess maybe Wooden Stake could be playable. But... Trepanation Trepanation could could Just playable. take all of the awful cards. All of these janky equipments that don't boost toughness. Do it. You did it. I can't believe you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Let's see if this works out. You have all of the pikes. Sure. I want one of your guys to have two rune chanters, pikes, and a wooden stake, <laughs> and a trepanation plate. <laughs> he's just juggling all of these items. He could slay vampires, or purify your skull, or... <laughs> Yeah, like, there's there's just a lot of options for him. Oh, and he could fly, too, I guess. I doubt it, but let's just see. Let's just, let's just see. <laughs> uh, trepanation. No. Not going 
but the juggernaut is. We like to kid around, but. <laughs> we like that's... to kid around, but that is just. Yeah, no, that's not. No. That's not a joke. That's not a joke. That's misfortune. Let's play all the blue cards. All the blue cards. Oh yeah, I am playing all the blue cards. And then most of the red cards. No. Dumpy dog. <laughs> we have a better werewolf. <laughs> Dumpy dog. Okay, so this yeah, is too many cards. I don't think we cards. need Scourge. I don't think it's awful, but like we have equipment that kind of does the job <laughs> yeah. better. Alright, let's check out our split. Rune Pike is so ridiculous. It is! <laughs> I'm looking forward to this being a fun ride. <laughs> you gotta watch out with flashing stuff back, though. Yeah, I know. But, like, I try not to do that anyway, because I try to save it for the Burning Vengeance if I draw one. Yeah. Um, that's it. Okay. I don't think I want to play Dissipate, but it is an instant, so who knows. We just have to cut three cards. Yeah. And ideally, I would like to play one Swamp, but... You could probably cut a Rune Chanter Spike. Yeah, I don't think I want As to silly them. as it would be, and as much as I want you to play both, just for, like... A few seconds of enjoyment for I when know. you get both out. Honestly, like, this is not a bad equipment, you know? Yeah. Like, if I've played two spells, it's plus two plus oh and first strike, which is comparable to Volshock Morningstar, which was the best of that little run, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh... Dissipate, maybe... Dream Twist? Okay, so here's considerations. No. Dissipate, Rune Chanter's Pike... One-Eyed Scarecrow. No, oh. I think you need One-Eyed Scarecrow. It's just really good for, like, so... Crossway Vampires come Oh, Crossway Vampires take that out, yeah. That's just not what you want to do at all. Yeah. You this have, guy is... You have I'm better not sure walls. how good this guy is. He's not, really. Yeah. Take up Crossway Vampires and him and just play ten creatures. Like, I'm gonna play two spells a lot of the time. Yeah. Take out Crossway Vampires. Those two, and, and then. And. Ten creatures. That's all you really need. Yeah. And, like, you have. Ten is actually, like, quite a lot for this kind of archetype, you know? Uh. Makeshift Mauler, do you want? It just makes me nervous with only ten creatures, but suppose you have an armored scab and Deranged that guy. Assistant and the armored scab, like I think and it's fine. Then Selhoff occultist and dream twist. All right. I'm not totally sold on this scarecrow <clears throat> over crossway vampire. I I mean he can't attack. And it's I like, know he can't attack, but you need him. You don't want him to attack. You want him to block, and you also want him to neutralize the dozens of spirits that you don't want to target with your burning vengeance or your geist flames. That's one deck, like, that seems a little... I think I'm gonna sideboard him in. Okay. That's fair. Wait, you wanna run Crossway Vampire? Not, like, super a lot, but... I mean, if I do this, then... I, I think I should probably cut one of these pikes. Although, you it's gonna be really dream. good. I don't know. I mean, this is the deck for it. Oh, man, I wish you got stupid bug. Jeff Goldblum bug. Delver of Secrets. Oh, yeah. Delver of Secrets, that Rune Changer spike would have been great. Yes. Like, you want... You want all of those. Galvanic Juggernaut you want, just because it's powerful and who cares. Well, that's the thing, is, like, this pike can give anything first strike. Yeah. So that's kind of why I figured this that's isn't that... awful, you know? That Skurzdag Cultist is kind of awkward. Yeah. I mean... It's good. Uh-huh. But, like... Yeah. Yeah, I definitely can see that. Like, Scarecrow would be one of the first cards that just, like, sack to it, you know? Yeah. Um... 
This is awkward. Maybe dissipate, but that buffs the pikes. Like, all of this is synergistic, but then reducing this... You don't need to cut any more cards. No, if I just play nine creatures, but that seems kind of... Yeah, I guess it's not horrible. You know, it's like, not... two of these are think twice. Yeah. Alright, well... Well, also, nine creatures and two pikes I was a little bit concerned about. Yeah. Also, nine creatures and makeshift mauler. Yeah. Maybe I should play the scarecrow or the vampire over this pike. The second pike? I don't know. I can just sideboard into the other option. Yeah. You should have it suggest again. Yeah. That seems more like it. I didn't realize this guy's double. That's kind of... That's why I think Scarecrow's better. Like, he's the only wall that you have that can't attack. And he does so much, like... No, but I already have, have like... It just helps your Moon Heron get through. I don't know. And yeah, also, those other know. walls can attack once you have a pike. You know right, I mean? yeah, no, that's the good thing about them. Yeah, and then they have, like, bonkers toughness. So, like, Maybe I should play the other pike over Dissipate. To do it. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this. Just do it. Just see how this works. See how it works. Yeah. Okay, alright. So, in that case, I might want this vampire. Ru do you want to play Runic Repetition? Yeah. What does it get? It gets back a Geist Flame or a Think Twice? It's just or a like. Silence Departure. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I just. I don't actually think that's that good. Like, Runic Repetition was great when you had. Charmbreaker, Charmbreaker Devils, Devils yeah. and also when you had Grasp of Phantasms. No, but Silence Departure is similar, mm. you know? Yeah. And, like, getting back Think Twice is just card advantage. I don't know. I, I mean, mean, like, it's that's. true. It's this just. This deck doesn't run a lot of creature, but it digs for them, you know? Yeah. Okay, so. Do you think it's. My mana can support one swamp for. Forbidden Alchemy? Um. I uh, I kind of don't, don't think it can. Think it can. Yeah. Like, and right, you're gonna be fine. milling so much stuff. It's like, yeah. what are the odds that you'll just not mill it and draw it, and be happy that you drew it? Like, who cares? Forbidden Alchemy is fine just on its own, you know. Yeah. It's just um, if it could trigger the Burning Mansions, clearly that would be better. But yeah. And if I had a Shimmering Grotto, I'd be a lot more inclined to play that. But. Swamp just seems bad. Yeah. 